greatness. Destiny has been fulfilled. I am the BWO World Heavyweight Champion. Welcome to my purple division. So, yeah, I'm back. As you can see, things are a little more empty around here, but I felt like it was finally time for me to come home to the BWO. And obviously, I can't do that without giving everyone an explanation for everything that's going on. So, I don't know, the past year year and a half, I really have started to feel like I was in the shadows. You know, I, I did everything I thought I could do at the time. I put out some of my best work. I felt like I was on a team in these partnerships I was in, but I couldn't ever break past the barrier of being number two to somebody else. Even at times when I felt like I was doing better than the person that was above me. And uh, I think all of that just really started to take its toll. During this time, I called a lot of people the top guy who couldn't be the top guy. And I think that I really was just talking to myself. And after all of that just built and built, it was too much. And I had to do everything humanly possible to prove that wrong, mostly to myself. And so I'd went in some pretty dark places to make it happen, you know. I faked being crazy for nine months to try to ruin the career of someone who was one of my best friends and tried to destroy every single person that I met after that. I tried to bury all of the people that I felt were smaller than me. I stole an entire title opportunity from AT simply because I felt like I was the top guy and needed to show that I was the top guy like being who I was wasn't enough and just I, I got obsessed with all of this until it all came to a head against Bobby which was just more obsession on more obsession you know I spent all that time trying to get Bobby there a guy that I didn't even want to face in the first place because I just had to beat everybody and prove that I was the the best and it led to me seeing the mind of God. And that is not something that I would recommend anybody try to do. That's that's some pretty some pretty messed up stuff up there. I don't see how any sane person can hold it all inside of themselves. But anyway, um my point is, after all of that went down at Promo Slam, I really, I took a step back to see what I had been doing to get to that point. And I wasn't happy with it. Seeing all this time trying to be the best, I lost sight of why I was doing it in the first place. I didn't want to be the the top guy just to say that I was I wanted me to be enough to be the top guy and I threw all that away and so I've done a lot of thinking spent a lot of time processing it all and now I feel like I'm in a good enough place to come back and try to compete the right way but some stuff has to change you know no more of these gimmicks no more of these vignettes these special skits no more musical promos or characters for now at least until I can learn to do it the right way it's just going to be me and this microphone and you so uh I'm back I'm ready to go and I'm sorry but just just for argument's sake, isn't, isn't everything else kind of a little weird right now? So, sorry. Like, 
it's not just me, right? It. I just I can't quite put my finger on it, but ever since Promo Slam, things have been a little bit off, and I feel like it it hasn't all just been because of me. I mean, look, look, look at what's happening in the locker room right now. You know, uh, everyone is splitting. It's mayhem trying to completely take over the division and the delegation. The people in charge are the ones trying to stop them. Bones has been on a complete rampage what is even happening with this man i don't see how this man has been healthy enough to compete mr bwo i didn't even ever get a chance to go face to face with him he showed up got his championship and then ran away and bobby who expected bobby i mean everybody's going a little bit crazy everyone's getting a little aggressive everything's getting chaotic and I feel like the ship needs to be righted, you know? Like, things are just off, and this isn't the BWO that it can be. So, while I am here to be a little more humble, a little more gracious, I'm still here to win. I'm here to try to fix things and be, I guess, a beacon of normalcy in this completely insane division right now. So, I'm going to be in the King of the Microphone tournament. I'm going to keep my title. I'm hoping that I don't go too far trying to remain the king, but we'll see what happens. So, Purge, I heard I've got you first at Minute to Win It. And, you know, I don't really know anything about you, and you don't really know anything about me. And while you could do all of this work to look back at who I am and try to plan for it. I'm a whole new guy. And there's nothing you can do to prepare for me now. So best of luck to you at Minute to Win It. And to everyone else, it's good to be back. BWO Faithful, it is your truest of commission. I'm currently headed to the office right now to figure some things out. I am frustrated. I, I still can't believe that the council made the decision they made, but hope you're all doing well this, uh, this new year. But without further ado, here's your post for the evening ramble. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, happy new year it is my honor to be here as your special guest host of the evening mayhem's very own ramboa and i know what you're thinking yes i am here to bring that mayhem i have a show that is fully loaded ahead of me but first and foremost welcome back trevor i personally haven't felt the energy of a true champion here in the BWO since the sad day where you lost your title. So I, for one, am ready for a change of pace. Welcome back, my brother. Now, 365. We all watched it unfold last week. And I promised the council that I wouldn't come here to complain. So I'll keep it short, sweet. Congratulations. AT on finally winning something, earning a championship your faction already had. Congratulations. Now, that's the past. What do we have in store for the future? Now, we are getting ready to kick off the King of the Mike tournament where 16 fierce competitors face off so that we can discover who's the best at talking that mess. Yeah. And whoever wins. Will be crowned king of the mic. At royal brutality. So without further ado. Let's go straight into the first match of the evening. And Tuck. You've got to stop pitting mayhem versus mayhem. But in any event. My homies. Mayhem poppy. Versus Buckshot. 
let's jump right into the action. Here we are again, nigga. Ready? Come on, Tuck. Buckshot versus Mayhem Pappy. You could have picked something different. We could have had Purge versus Buckshot. We could have had Buckshot versus Tuck. We could have had Hezekiah Little John versus Tuck. Buckshot. We could have had all of that. But, nigga, you decided it's going to be Mayhem versus Mayhem yet a fucking game. So here we are, here I am, not giving you my camera, not giving you the face yet, nigga, because you don't deserve it. I need to get this off my chest before I fucking explode. Tuck, stop with this bullshit, nigga. Stop with this. You could have had anything else. You could have had anything else with me in it to boost the ratings, but you decided, oh, Mayhem versus Mayhem is going to be a fucking great fun. Fuck off, nigga. You ain't getting shit. Why does this have to happen, Tuck? Why does this always happen with you? Oh, oh, it's Mayhem versus Mayhem, guys. Oh, that's fun. Fuck off. I'm sick to death of it. I'm so sick and fucking tired of it. Because you saw what I did against Vagabond. I went easy on him. I went easy on him and he advanced to Bobby Miller and guess what nigga, he actually won that. You can say, oh he didn't win, oh, turn function, he didn't really win. Yes he did, look at the graphic right at the end. Continuously we have been screwed out of stock, continuously top, you have screwed mayhem out of everything. So here we are taking everything by force. You know what, Tuck, what pisses me off the most is I call out Purge for the king of the mic. I come out here, I come out here at PDL 365 and went, Purge, did you really see who was coming in here? Did you really see who was going to be part of the king of the mic? Because I called him out. That's basically words of me calling out the Purge. But here I am against Javi Pappy. Sad. It's fucking ridiculous, Tuck. How am I supposed to progress? How am I supposed to evolve when you think a civil war between mayhem is going to happen? When you think we're going to implode and internally combust and fight each other? Because every time you put mayhem versus mayhem, you just make us stronger, nigga. BWL, let's talk for a second, man. Here I am. King of the Mike Tournament. I think that's what's going on right now, right? It doesn't matter. Um, the Pajabi Poppy is once again asked to do something. And, you know, like a good soldier, like a good, you know, lieutenant that I am, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm ready to, to fight. But, you know what? They decided to pin Mayhem against Mayhem. Now... The only thing older than that cliche storyline, you know, pitting brothers against brothers, is this BWO shirt, you know, which I really loved. One of my favorite shirts of all time. But as you can see, it's seen better days, okay? It's faded. The, 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 the glory that was the BWO has now diminished a little bit, okay? The landscape has changed tremendously. And, you know, spoiler alert, I love Buckshot, okay? Buckshot is a phenomenal competitor every single time he gets a 74 i die inside okay there's no way this man who keeps it 100 deserves a 74 but i digress he's gonna get better and you know what buckshot i hope you take it to the take it to the yard okay D do whatever you need to do to finally get the respect that you deserve okay now back to what happened we're pinning mayhem against mayhem i'm not even focused on what's going on in this tournament. I don't really care about the accolades. I can be 0-12. I don't care. I want to let you guys know that just like this t-shirt, the Punjabi Poppy era has come to an end. It's faded away. That man is no longer around here, okay? Mayhem Poppy is in the batter's cage. He's ready for that moment, but he's only going to come out when the moment is right. The Mayhem Poppy is not 
your best friend. He is not going to cheer you on. He's not going to be somebody who roots you and wants to see you succeed in this division. Mayhem Poppy wants to see right in this division. He wants to see justice in this division. I think it'll be like as, as, as like the promo division sting, okay? I'm going to be lurking from the rafters, and I'm going to make sure that we uplift this division to its highest peak. Get it back to as close to as the golden era as that we can. But with the people that are in charge, I, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of questioning. Look, we can fast forward to this. I, I, I need to see the delegation. I need to see all of them individually, okay? Maybe we're going to get to that point eventually. Maybe we can let the story burn. You can put me in another match against Shoes. You can put me in a match against Mason. You can put me in a match with whoever you want, okay? But Tuck, you know where the money's at. Me versus you. It's going to happen in 2023. Believe that. Are you kidding me, bro? This is this is what I'm talking. How how was how was that a sixty six? How was that a sixty eight? is an outrage but I've got to be a professional I've got a job to do I'll take that up with the council in other news we have minutes to win it to look forward to and we're still unveiling some of the competitors but so far what we have is the recently resurrected promo Jesus A.T., the coward player, and my man's Mayhem Poppy. Well, I don't know who else is in that match, but my money's on Mayhem Poppy, regardless of who's judging. Now, that's what we got in store for the future, but for right now, what I've got for you, you get to hear from a couple more of my homies, Vagabond. And Don Krypton. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't let, let, boys and girls, let, let, let the rage. Let Free. Stop Free. holding Stop. back. Holding Let it out. Don't adjust a goddamn thing. Goddamn thing. Goddamn The scorecard said. The scorecard said. 90 was going. 90 was going. 85. 91. 91. In my fucking 91. In my fucking 91. 85. 85. In box. 85. In box. Yeah. What's yeah. not on my shoulder? What's yeah. not on my shoulder? What is it in my hand right now? 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 What belt is it? She I wondered. She I wondered. The T Y S type. The T Y S type. I'm not the T Y S 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 Ninety one to eighty fucking I cut one of the best works of my life and they still don't give me fucking props. They still don't give me fucking props. This... This is the kind of shit I was talking about. Even if I supposedly win, I don't get shit. Even if I supposedly win, I don't get a damn thing to show for it. All I get is a fucking pat on the back. Go to the back of the fucking line. Like every other time. It's sick. It makes me fucking angry. It makes me despise Bobby. It makes me despise all those in power who let this shit slide. Should have been like this from day one because all they understand is fucking people over. Why aren't you snapping? Why aren't you snap? Let it out! That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because I don't want peace. I only want. 
is what separates me from having everything BB has right now. Ten points separates Mayhem from having all of the gold. I can't even blame the judges. In that tag team match, I was so drunk on the possibility of gold due to DB's unfortunate incident that I lost sight of the fact that there could be another power play involved. Ramboa advised me and I dismissed him and now all of the gold is in the hands of the opposition. Coming that close to winning it all and losing makes you reevaluate some things. I believe it's in Mayhem's best interest to refocus. Yes, we do still want all the gold, but I believe it's necessary to attain our true purpose, and that is to uplift the downtrodden, the forgotten, the unappreciated. And that is what Mayhem is here for. That is what Mayhem will do. We need to focus on making sure that the entire BWO is cared for, not just hand-picked people who have already made a name for themselves. Mayhem is here to cultivate the potential of the BWO. And make no mistake, we are still here to make sure that the delegation is destroyed. And we will start by cultivating ourselves to Mayhem. It breaks my heart to be among the most talented people in this division. Vagabond, Buckshot, Mayhem Poppy, Don Krypton. And to watch my family get screwed week after week. I mean, I couldn't have said it better myself, Vagabond and Don Krypton. And... I share the same sentiments, but I urge you stay the course, change is gonna come, so help me God, change is gonna come, but enough about us, next week we've got two very big matches, we've got AT facing off with Sean, Shoes, Owens, and we got the homie Vagabond going up against Troy Mason next week. But that's next week though, right? What do we got tonight? Now tonight in the main event, we have Hezekiah Lil John versus Lamar Falcon. 
Let's send us right to the action, baby. The B W O, y'all niggas funny as shit. You bring me back after pulling that bullshit with Jason O'Connor, ha? Huh? Uh, no winner. Just a bunch of fucking complaints, but that don't matter because we're here now. Because you come back. Oh, Lamar, can you come back? And oh, Lamar, can you do in the tournament? And oh, Lamar, and da 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 Only to be on your politics shit again, huh? So you line me up, huh? You want me to job out to your boy, huh? Has the BWO t shirt vendor, the boy selling iron ones who went out of business because he couldn't afford the ink. You're funny as shit. You saw me up against him, has you fat piece of shit. You're ugly. You don't know how to dress. You have a dookie stain right here. And then when you hold your head back, you got that motherfucking extra meat back there. That's your poopy pouch. So when you hold your head for it, and that's the, that, that, that contributes to the shit that come out your mouth. See, you wanted that. You've been chasing me down for this. You've been chasing me around a BWO for a minute now, wanting this one-on-one. But then when you seen that shit with bones, you wanted to turn, huh? Huh? You just said, ah, that's it. I want him. Oh, you gotta put me against Lama. You gotta put me against Lama. I wanna dance with Lama. You couldn't just wait until you got yourself together. Until you got yourself worthy enough for me to wanna come at you. But no. You just hop your ass in the bracket just like Bones did. And you see how that work out. Because every time he see my name, he get that flashback. Every time he hear a certain slow song, he get that flashback. You want me to do the same to you. It don't work like that. Because I don't give a fuck who calls you king. I will never, ever bow down to your bum ass. No. But you can be the king. You know, the king of the bum shit. The king of the bitch shit. The king of the ugly shit. You know, there are places for kings like you. But just not at the top of the BWO. Okay. You know Greetings, everyone. It is I, the man, the myth, the legend, Hezekiah Littlejohn, here to give you another episode of Hezekation, sponsored by Blue Chew and Sprite Cranberry. Because fuck you, Mike Tuck, I can have a Sprite Cranberry wherever the fuck I want. Bitch ass man. Love you though. Know. Merry Christmas. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Today we're not going to be talking about a superb competitor or someone who owns a belt like Bobby Miller like last time and end up having one of the greatest matches of BWO history. No, we're going to make it a bit more bite-sized because we're talking about somebody that no one actually gives a fuck about. Lamarf. Because Lamarf is a fade. And no, we're not talking about that thing that my fucked up hairline will never have ever again. <laughs> this likes to have shitty genetics. No, we're talking about when he's a fraudulent asinine, disturbing embarrassment. Allow me to break it down for those at home. First letter is fraudulent because as soon as he appeared in the BWO, he did a whole bunch of fake nigga shit. Tried to steal my gimmick. He tried to he tried to copy me by actually doing a title match on his first one, and he thought he was actually going to be relevant. And all three of these things actually turned out to be completely impossible for this fucking idiot. But if all we have to do is cosplay as something to become that thing, then I would be the WWE and the undisputed WWE Heavyweight Champion at the same time and fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania! Yeah! Because I dressed up as it. But we all know that's not how it fucking works, you fucking idiot! But. Speaking of fucking idiots, that actually brings me to my next letter. Asinine. Asinine, to those at home who don't know how to look up Google, means someone that is extremely foolish or stupid. And there's not many people more asinine than that dumbass nigga Lamarf. Now that I'm thinking about all the times that we've seen Lamarf, all the good times, I guess you could say, I am now remembering how disturbing this individual is. Because of the chicken bone. Oh! Hell oh. No, man, what the fuck, man? Oh! Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh! 
Ugh. Anyway, get that out of here. Which leads us to the last one. Embarrassment. Lamar, for everything you've done here has been a downright embarrassment. And there's nothing that you have done so far that makes me think that you will actually be a suitable competitor for the BWO. The only reason you're here is because they didn't want to give me a buy in the tournament and have me go to the next round. So do everybody a favor and actually fade out of the BWO. You piece of shit. Anyway, thank you for stopping by on another episode of Hesitation. Fuck you, my tech. I'm drinking a Sprite Cranberry. And Hezekiah takes the W, 88 to 77. Now, there wasn't a shadow of a doubt in my mind that Hezekiah was taking that W, but if I'm being quite honest, that matchup was far more entertaining than it ever had any right to be. Now, this is the point in time of the show where we usually pay the bills, but Tuck's not here. So check out www.prowrestlingtees.com slash Ramboa and get all of your mayhem merch, baby. That's all for me. This has been fun. Please bring me back. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I certainly have. And remember, live Love mayhem. Y'all have a blessed week. Take care. And Bobby Miller, you're going to have to stop dodging me. The time has come. And it's time for you to run that TYS championship.